The Women's Association of the Mining Industry of Canada was founded in 1921 by Mary Edith Tyrrell, the wife of a renowned geologist. And it was important to her too that they did good community work and um, so that was set out in their original uh, rules. The organization's almost 100 year history is a testament to its great leadership, committed members and their passion for giving. Womack made a significant contribution to the minerals industry by fostering young talent through bursaries and scholarships. The scholarship program was initially set up to assist students, many who were in need, uh, who were already at university, third and fourth year students, who were in the earth science programs. We have raised $1,200,000 over the years and another just under 300000 for community charity. By 1967, their fundraising efforts had received charitable status. Members raised money through a variety of fun social events. One thing that we all really loved was um, big country fairs. Several members would have uh, farms or big properties outside the city, and uh, everyone loved these. Well, I think one of the events, there were 3,000 people that came through that day. Oh, yeah. So there were serious things and a lot of people. When not raising money, the members were lending a hand at local community organizations. Oh yes, we used to have volunteers at the Red Cross and we also had uh, volunteers at the Toronto Rehab Center on uh, Rumsey Road. Over the years, what stands out is an overriding spirit of community, a spirit that fostered lifelong friendships. Excellent opportunity for me to gain new friendships with the people that uh, I still know today and are my close friends. I have met some wonderful people who were very close. And uh, if you have to talk about anything that's troubling you, that's where you go first. Although his charitable foundation has wound down, Womack's commitment to giving continues. Now we, we volunteer at the Canadian Mining Hall of Fame and with those um, those proceeds from our volunteer work are sent to the universities that we now support. In its heyday, Womack had over 500 members. Membership is lower today, but the community spirit and dedication to philanthropy live on. We are still doing some good in the community, and that's important to the members, really important.